So let us start with our next example on Peyton wheel. So here we have to find out the value of nozzle power that is power available at the nozzle and hydraulic efficiency but here we have to neglect the frictional losses in nozzle and over the bucket which means that this is the important part in this particular example it means that coefficient of velocity is 1 and there are no losses over the buckets means what vr1 is equal to vr that is the relative velocity at outlet is equal to relative velocity at inlet or value of k is equal to 1 so let us start with our example or solution part on samsung galaxy tab So now let us start with the problem statement. A Pelton wheel works under a net head of 600 meter and runs at a speed of 700 rpm. The mean diameter of the runner is 1.35 meter. For a discharge rate of 0.22 meter cube per second, we have to find out the power available at the nozzle and hydraulic efficiency of the turbine and assuming no frictional losses in the nozzle and over the bucket. So it means that the coefficient of velocity we have to take it as 1 and vr1 is equal to vr or k is equal to 1 the outlet clearance angle is given as 15 degree so let us start with the data which is given in the example so first we'll write down the data over here so net head is given as 600 meter speed is given as 700 rpm then diameter of the runner is given as 1.35 meter discharge is 0 0.22 meter cube per second then nozzle power we have to find out cv is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 and clearance angle is given as 15 degree so this is the data which is given to us that we have already discussed now let us start with the calculation part so v is known as the jet velocity that is given by cv under root of 2 g h now substitute the values of g and h over here cv is 1 g is gravitational acceleration that is 9.81 and head is 600 so we'll get the value of jet velocity as 108.5 meter per second now u is equal to pi d n upon 60 so diameter of the runner is 1.35 speed of the turbine is given as 700 rpm divide it by 60 so that you will get the blade speed so or bucket speed and that value comes out to be 49.5 meter per second so we have obtained these two values now our next part will be to find out the mass flow rate so as we know the value of discharge we can easily find out the value of mass flow rate that is volume into density so density of the water is 1000 so and q is discharge that is in meter cube per second so rho is mass density that is mass per unit volume and discharge is in meter cube per second so we can say that the mass flow rate will be in kg per second so substitute the values over here so m dot will be equal to rho into q now work done by runner we can easily find out that value as m dot into v minus u 1 plus k cos phi into u now as we have already seen that the value of m dot is rho into q v minus u 1 plus k cos phi into u as it is so rho is 1000 that is the mass density for water q is given as 0 0.22 velocity of the jet we have calculated as 108.5 and blade speed as 49.5 1 plus k is 1 and cos 15 into 49.5 value of u is 49.5 so we'll get work done by runner as 1.26 into 10 raised to 6 watt now power supplied is nothing but gamma qh where gamma is the specific weight or weight density or it is also known as the head on the turbine so gamma is expressed in newton per meter cube because it is weight per unit volume discharge is in meter cube per second and head is in meter so we can say that this is nothing but meter cube meter cube will get cancelled out so it will be newton meter per second or we can say that it will be nothing but joule per second or watt so let us substitute all these particular values so gamma for water is 9810 q is 0.22 h is 600 so you'll get the power supplied as 1.294 into 10 raised to 6 watt now as the losses are negligible we can say that the nozzle power or jet power will be same as that of the power supply because there are no losses in this particular case so hydraulic efficiency is work done by a runner which we have already calculated divided by power supplied multiplied by 100 so substitute the values over here so work done by runner is 
1.26 into 10 raised to 6 and this is 1.294 into 10 raised to 6 into 100. So we'll get hydraulic efficiency as 97.37%. So in this way we can solve the example on Pelton wheel. Thank you very much for watching.